the general election in Bangladesh is just a few days away. But there are hardly any signs of mass rallies or campaigning except by the governing parties. And the people's reaction in the streets are mixed. The government doesn't need the general masses. For the last 15 years, we have not been able to credibly cast our votes. Why is that? Don't you think we have the desire to participate in the voting process? Our votes are cast by others. The main opposition party says millions of its members are facing a government crackdown and more than 20,000 have been in jail since late October. There is very little enthusiasm in the street. The main opposition party and its allies are boycotting the poll as many feel the incumbent governing party is all set to win a fourth straight term without much of a contest. The opposition's key demand is that the election be held under a caretaker administration, but the government has rejected that. The opposition alliance says it will stay on the streets until this government is ousted. They have already executed the election process weeks ago by publicly determining the person who is going to be the member of parliament from whichever sits. This has been decided not in the ballot box, but sitting in the capital, in the office of the highest executive of the country. This is the paradox. During her 15 years in power, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has been credited with turning around the economy, and her supporters are betting on her economic success. Hasina says she wants the January 7 national election to be free, fair and neutral. We have secured people's right to vote through struggle and movement. They think they will be able to take those rights away and stop the election process. But they don't have that courage, nor will they succeed in doing so. Some analysts say without the Bangladesh Nationalist Party and other opposition groups taking part, the election may not meet legal requirements and many in the global community may question its credibility. Tanvi Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Dhaka. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.